Hi everybody. Now this is Armory Forger on PC, um, and Armory Forger by Bohemia Interactive um, is the kind of test bed for the new Armor Four that will be coming out in a few years. And obviously, Bohemia Interactive, who developed this game, you know, developed DayZ as well. And Armory Forger and the new Armor uh, Four will be running in the full version of the Enfusion engine. Okay, um, which is a, which is different to what Armor Three runs in. Armor 3 runs in the real virtuality engine. Now, DayZ runs in Infusion as well, but on an older version of uh, Infusion. Um, in fact, you could argue that after the 0.63, you know, and going forward update, when DayZ switched to Infusion, all along it has been a major testbed for this new engine where Bohemian Interactive wants to bring in. You know, a, a system, an engine that is more scalable and can really deliver what they want for future games, and maybe even sell the lights, to, the the rights to use the engine to other people. Now, why is this important? Well, because one of the things that we kind of discuss quite a lot is, will there ever be a Daisy Two? You know, what would Daisy Two look like? Um, and if there was a Daisy Two, um, or would you know Daisy now? Would it ever? be ported to the full version of Infusion. And there's a lot of poo-pooing about it, like, no, no, it can never happen. No, no, it's different. No, no, the, the, these things can't happen. But you have to remember that Infusion runs on PC and it runs on console. It runs on um, Xbox as well, because and it'll be coming to PlayStation soon as well, because I think Bohemian Interactive are very, very, very keen to have Armour 4 running on consoles. Because they've seen the success and the sheer amount of money they've made out of DayZ on Xbox and PlayStation, you know, and say, you know, what? Why shouldn't we have this part of the market for our um, for, for our uh, premium uh, military sim as well? Now, this is the reason for the title of this video because, as I'm recording this video on the 18th of October 2022, DayZ Update 1.19 has just come out, um, and. In the description below the trailer for it, there is an amazing piece of information down here. Disclaimer. Parts of the teaser are not gameplay. We have taken the opportunity to develop segments of the 1.19 teaser using our Enfusion engine. All assets seen are imported from DayZ to the Enfusion engine. Powering the future of Bohemia's games. So, what we're seeing there is a statement from Bohemia Interactive, from the Daisy devs, that they actually see. You know, when the, when they refer to Infusion, they refer they're referring to the uh, Armor of Forger version of Infusion, not to the version of Infusion that Daisy runs on the, the the forked older version of it. But we're also seeing why would they do that? Why would they bother importing these uh, assets, these textures? these actions into Enfusion, you know, because they've got limited resources and there's only there's, there's only a few of them. What, why would you bother taking the time and the effort to do this unless you were testing some things out with the aim or the ultimate idea of taking it maybe one step further and maybe importing all of the DAISY assets into Enfusion? Because this could well be a test bed. This was a... Um, a, a trial if you like look let's see let's see if we can just make a trailer with infusion you know let's import the uh the livonia map um let's info import the daisy character skins let's import the daisy weapons the humvee well that's that's from reforger anyway let's put them in and let's see what we can do does it look like daisy does it feel like daisy and then let's put it out as a trailer as a proof of concept so i think this is the strongest indication yet that Bohemia Interactive and the Daisy devs are exploring the possibilities of porting Daisy from its version of Infusion to the modern Armour Reforger and Armour 4 version of Infusion. I think that is very, very exciting indeed because the Infusion engine on Daisy, I think, you know, is fantastic. It gives you a look and a feel to a survival game um, that you, you know, you don't get anywhere else at all, do you? Um, but it has some problems and one of the problems I guess that it has is the fact that because it is kind of cobbled together and has been developed 
over the last several years they really need maybe like a, a clean slate to start again um, and it, you've also got this division in Bohemia Interactive of the Daisy devs working on their version of Infusion and then the Armour devs working on their version of Infusion whereas if they were all working on the same engine then they could bring lots of the resources together solve lots of the same problems together and obviously end up with a much more polished product at the end of it so let's just 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 read through that again we have taken the opportunity develops to develop segments of the 119 teaser using our infusion engine all assets seen so all assets so everything that you're seeing in that trailer are imported from daisy to the infusion engine and they specifically said powering the future of Bohemia's games. And then there's a link to the Infusion Engine um, website. I mean, I don't think you can get more obvious than that. <laughs> you, you can't get more obvious than that. Anyway, what do you think? Put your comments below this video. What I'll do is I'll put a link to the Daisy 119 update teaser um, in the description below this video as well. And then uh, maybe we can have a little bit of discussion about this. Is Daisy coming to the new version of infusion i think it is time scales you know years probably but they're uh, they're testing the waters aren't they anyway thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon